Hi all, Pastor Jen here from Pacific Lutheran University with another Warm Line video for you today. So it's Earth Day today, so I'm recording outside. Since most of us are still learning and working remotely from home, the car traffic is much less, so it's quieter and the air smells fresher. This is apparently a global phenomenon as industry and everyday movement has slowed way down. You can hear more birds chirping in the quiet. In the oceans, whale songs aren't interrupted by cruise ship noise, and their stress hormones are decreasing. Air pollution has decreased even in cities like LA, notorious for their bad air quality. As one scientist put it, nature is taking a deep breath while we are holding ours. I feel more aware of nature during this time. Before now, I hadn't really spent so much concentrated time in my own neighborhood. I'm usually gone during the day and out in the evenings with friends or with events at school. But now I take walks every day around my community and I'm noticing new things. A couple blocks away, they have chickens. Lots of folks are putting together amazing gardens this year. I see homes with kids and the signs they make for their windows, thanking healthcare workers and encouraging all of us to stay safe. Ironically, in this time of so many disconnections, I also feel more connected with nature and with my community. With the blessing of such amazing weather the past few weeks, I also see more of my neighbors. We're careful to cross to the other side of the street or give each other a wide space as we pass, but we see each other and all of our eyes seem more open. When I connect with friends over Zoom or for a physically distant picnic in the park, it's funny what we talk about. Not much to share about what we've been doing as all of our days are looking pretty much the same. I share about the cherry tree that is blooming outside of our window or the varieties of birds that Deb has encouraged to come to our balcony by putting out bird seed treats. Friends talk about the squirrel crow face-off that they witnessed or the tulips in their yard that are just about to burst open. Nature is our entertainment these days. But I also think it's much deeper than that. The earth is grounding us, literally giving us a place to root ourselves when so much is feeling untethered. And the earth is delighting us with its stunning beauty and its calming deep breaths. I don't remember where I first saw this idea of a window prayer, but I think it's fitting as a lens that is common for most of us these days. So I invite you to pray along with me. So if you're near a window, go ahead and look out as you pray. Otherwise, perhaps imagine the view outside your window or a favorite view you remember. Creator of all life, we thank you today for the whole of creation whose interconnected life systems sustain all that is. As we look at our windows, we thank you today for what we notice. I notice the vibrant beauty of flowering trees, the way the sun changes my view throughout the day, and healthcare workers I see walking to work at the hospital a few blocks away, all parts of your creation. What do you notice? Loving God, the view out my window reminds me to pray for all creatures, seen and unseen, my neighbors out walking, and those who cannot leave their house and often feel invisible, and essential workers who leave their house every day to serve our communities. What does your window view invite you to pray for today? Spirit of life who surrounds us in our joy and our sorrow, help us to keep looking out our window in prayerful awe and wonder and compassion. As we go about our days, remind us of our connection with all that is and stir us to care for the world you have created. May your grace offer all of creation, including the human community, a deep breath this day. Amen. A short reading of the delights of creation from the prophet Isaiah. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, 
and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. And a closing poem from E.E. E. Cummings. I thank you, God, for this most amazing day, for the leaping greenly spirits of trees and a blue true dream of sky and for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. May the God of all creation ground you in the sturdy earth and breathe a breath of peace in you this day. Take care and be well.